So, of course, some local groups want to protect prospective home buyers. And I say, of course, because consumer advocate groups say Florida is now one of many states that does not legally require a homeowner to disclose a flooding risk to a buyer. They are writing to Congress to change that law. Underside's Troy Kless joins us from San Marco, which one resident says, despite the flooding from Hurricane Irma, is still a prime housing market. Three years ago here in San Marco, five feet of flood water got into many homes and also into the San Marco streets. One man I spoke with says that he has seen homes in the area sell since the flood, but the fact that they did flood, however, is not a required disclosure. Don Pepe got two feet of water in his San Marco home during Irma. As a result, he raised up his appliances in his garage and left the water line on the outside as a reminder of the damage. He says after Irma, his perspective on rebuilding and protecting his home has changed. You can't just keep going back and repeating the same you know, and expecting different results. He says others in his neighborhoods have sold their homes after the flood. Florida is not a state that by law requires a seller to disclose flood history. Experts say that seller disclosure forms like this one only tell part of the story. Pepe says information like flood history on a home can help consumers make important decisions. The government needs to really maintain that information, provide the data, and make sure it's there for, available for anybody who wants to uh, <clears throat> buy a house. Um, and, and, it, and it probably should be publicly available. Pepe says that he does not plan to sell his own home, but says that he encourages potential buyers to make sure to check the flood zone or any other potential history of a home before getting into it. In San Marco, Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.